1966, Ed Bruchet mounted a motorized camera to the back of a pickup truck and photographed every building on the Sunset Strip. Returning again and again to Sunset Boulevard and various other Los Angeles streets, Rouché has continued to document the cityscape for nearly 60 years. The Getty has digitized 120,000 negatives of the more than 750,000 images. A portion of these images were then tagged with AI image recognition to explore online. The resulting archive is an invaluable resource for scholars from a wide variety of disciplines that want to glimpse the major boulevards of Los Angeles evolving over time. Ed Rocher's street-level photographs give us a new perspective on the traditional bird's-eye view of urban history. This shift in viewpoint shows us people on the ground, contending with global energy and finance capital, suburbanization and immigration, geopolitics and nature itself. They reveal the history of the 20th century city not as the work of invisible hands, but of real ones. Repainting, planting, tearing down and building up. These incremental changes come to life when viewed over time, allowing us to trace what's different and what remains the same. Gas stations dwindle as freeways support growing suburbanization. Regional banks disappear. Languages change as neighborhoods shift. Some buildings are demolished, others somehow persist. Palm trees demonstrate the constructed nature of landscape, with dense greenery most visible in affluent areas, while less so in other neighborhoods. Sunset Boulevard's stories are limited by the path the roadway carved through the city but its miles contain a multitude of stories and people behind its facades. Seeing them requires that one slow down and look, property by property, year over year, as Rouché's camera did. Of all the musical streets in Los Angeles, and there are many, Sunset, is the most musical of all. Home to instrument shops, record stores, recording studios, nightclubs, record labels, and more. The boulevard holds musical histories that range from the Strip's 1960s rock golden age, to Latin American and Chicano scenes, to funk and blues and the boom of disco, and the evolution of punk. It's been a street of musical capitalism run amok, a place where subcultural rebels end up in major label boardrooms, and a street of radical protest, where the policed and the oppressed agitate for justice and rights. The Black Cat at 3909 Sunset Boulevard is one such historical musical site, becoming an epicenter in the struggle for gay and lesbian civil rights after the LAPD brutally attacked patrons on New Year's Eve 1967. That spirit of resistance lived on in all the venues that followed most notoriously with Club Fuck at Basgo's Disco, an early 90s laboratory for queer transgression and celebration. By looking at Rouché's photographs of a single block over the course of decades and tuning into its phantom musical histories, not only can we see the neighborhood change over time, but we can also hear it. Rouché's project of categorizing and naming visual types is not too far from the interests of AI image researchers. Here, he is implicitly saying, are pools. Here are gas stations. This is an apartment. In the Streets of LA archive, a computer eye is increasingly responsible for seeing Rouché's images with an algorithm that has learned to recognize the shape or form of an object or text in an image. The archive also reveals unused material that is inherent to the capturing process. Light leaks, half frames, mistakes of multiple varieties, and entirely blank images. For the algorithm, recognizing an image as holding a quality of blankness is not a standard capability. 
It is easier, after all, to describe presence rather than absence, and easier to recognize as well. These hidden images are among the most humanizing of the archive, not only because they often feature humans, usually Rouchet's friends and assistants marking film roles, but because they depart from the system. Their unexpected variety shows the archive's potential and invites a reading of playful possibility. In many ways, the photographs in the Streets of L.A. archive are so alluring because they seem to offer so much, and yet they also invite a kind of narrative overwriting, which exists, at least for now, outside of what the computer can see. By digitizing Ed Ruscha's Streets of Los Angeles archive, the Getty Research Institute has provided us with an opportunity to explore the past through a contemporary lens, offering a blank slate upon which to project our own stories and historical desires.